This conference will now be recorded. Welcome back to our advanced usage training videos for DuckQuote. Today we're going to be talking about how to edit your layout at an advanced level. So you can edit many parts of your layout using the edit mode, which is located here in the top left and selecting a section or sections and that includes the following that you can edit you can edit the material which we call the product line you can edit the diameter the section length the slope and the fittings out and in so Let's go through these one at a time. So material, if I were to choose, and I'll use the control key to hold down two of these, so we can select multiple sections by using our tr control key. And I then change the material from US duct to US tubing. Take a look now and you will see a slight difference in the coloring. We have U.S. duct tinted blue, whereas, excuse me, U.S. tubing is tinted blue, and U.S. duct is our standard galvanized gray. So that's one thing that we could do to change things. Let's change this back now. All right. Now the diameter. Let's say that we have, as we did with this layout, we had dot quote, run the calculation and size things. Well, we can actually override that sizing. So let's say that we have here dot quote, size that at a six. And let's pretend that we wanted, in fact, to have a higher velocity within that we can actually force a higher velocity by selecting the sections and then changing the diameter. And as you can see, we do have control over the diameter. We are simply being told that the calculation results are no longer valid and we would have to recalculate. All right. So we can back that back out as well. And then we talk about length. Now this is kind of important because we can in fact change the length of a section. Let's say that we know by measuring where these units go that from this connection to where we want to turn, we know is actually 23 feet, not 22. We can actually come here and change that length to 23 feet and hit enter. Now, we're going to be asked, do we want to move items upstream or downstream. Upstream would mean against the flow or at the inlet end. So I would pull this entire section and anything it's connected to towards us. Or downstream, I would yank this drop and the collector towards the far wall. I'll do downstream. And you can see that by making it longer, it pushed this connection off. So we will simply have to move the machine back and let it reconnect. Then we come to slope. Now this is very, very interesting. And I'm going to actually disconnect a pipe. So we have a section of duct here. And we look up slope, there's currently zero slope. In other words, it's parallel with the floor. I can actually select from a drop-down list, very common slope would be one quarter inch per foot. And then it asks, well, which end do we want to tilt upstream or downstream? Again, this has to do with the actual flow direction. So I'm going to choose downstream. And as we look now, we can see that using draw mode, if I hover at this end, that's still at 11 feet, 11 inches. Here, we're now at 12, almost 12 and a half feet. So we have 
push the downstream side up. Okay. Well, we can also get a little bit more severe. We're allowed to go between positive 45 and negative 45. So if we wanted to make this a 30 degree angle, and we did downstream, you can see how that really shoots up. Or we could simply make that a negative angle, and it shoots down. But you get the idea. All right, so lastly, and we've already shown this, we can change the fittings. Let's go ahead and get out of this, leave it, and we'll come back in so we haven't lost anything. Wrong one. Let's go back. Okay. So the fittings, as you can see here, if we zoom in, and I select section three, you can see the out is a 45 degree elbow, and the in is a 90 degree elbow. And both of them are one and a half D, our standards. We can, in fact, edit these simply by changing them here. All right? Now, the other way that we can change things is we can change things in the design tab. So for instance, we have flex hose on two of these. Currently, it's set to clear. If we change that to black, you can see that we get changes there too. Now, some of these changes in design will affect everything in the drawing. Others will only affect things to be drawn in the future. For instance, if we choose a different radius after we've drawn a bunch of elbows, the current elbows will not be changed, only those that are drawn after you make the selection. So let's talk about how we select sections. We've already mentioned that we can do multiples by clicking on one, hold the control key, clicking on another. Another way is in edit mode, we can use the box selection tool here. I click, and then I simply click and drag a box around the sections that I want to select, okay? And lastly, if I wanna select everything in a system, I can actually double click on any section in the system and what will happen is I will select the section I double click on and every section that it can reach through a valid connection. This is a great way of testing to see whether or not you have everything connected. We talk about this more in one of our debugging webinars. So there you have how to edit everything about your layout. Now you should take some time, use these editing functions so you can get more comfortable with them and your drawing your layouts. So the next segment that you're going to be watching, you're going to learn how to take floor plans or drawings and import them into duck quotes so that you can draw directly onto that floor plan. So hope to see you soon.